In our first question on the lab, we are asked to create a pie chart for the variable car, where the variable car is simply car colors. Uh, so we're going to create a pie chart. The first thing I want to tell you, though, is that I have changed all of this data. In other words, it looks like the lab data, but I've changed it so that I will not be giving you the correct answers. So let's look at doing a simple pie chart with the car colors, okay? What we want to do is go up to Graph, um, Pie Chart, go down to Pie Chart. And when we do this, it looks kind of blank, but put your cursor under Categorical Values. Now you see all of your data choices. We're going to be clicking on Car. This is the same thing you'll do, just remember the data is different. Double click. There it is. Now, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and click OK. That gives us a pie chart, all right? But there's a lot of things missing there. I don't like that when you say, well, Brent, why not? Well, the colors are wrong. There's a lot of other things. So I'm going to go back and show you what a lot of students forget to do. So I'm going to X that out, say, mm, do you want to save it? No. Let's go back, graph, pie chart, and let's look at what our options are. Pie options, mm, this is all good, okay. Labels, uh, title, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name mine Brent's pie chart for car colors. Colors, I better spell it right, hadn't I? Say OK. Let's see, data options. Hmm. Group options, no, nothing there, no. I'm going to hit cancel. Oh, I want to see here on pie graphs. It'll let me cancel labels, slice labels. Under labels, Let's go with uh, frequency and percent, okay, because it's going to make the question easier for us and a follow-up question easier. So under labels, I said frequency and percent, but I had to hit the slice labels tab. Say okay. Now say okay. Now notice, all right, that it gives me a pie chart, but these charts, when I look, black is actually this peachy color, blue is green. So, Brett, how do we fix that? Um, let's see if it will let us change the colors. Let's take a look at this. All right, let's see. What was purple? Red is purple. So I'm going to double click on red and see if it will let me do a custom color and uh, make it uh, red here. Well, my screen's kind of acting up. All right, attributes, custom, borders and fill lines, fill pattern, background color. I'm going to make it red. You can't see this because it's showing up on another screen, but I made it red. Say, okay. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Control Z. Let's see if it'll let me do it right here. Yeah, so let's see if it'll let me select. Okay, just the red slice. Notice how I had selected a whole thing, so now the red slice custom, automatic. I'm going to see if it'll let me. I'll get a little, uh, okay, red. Now it says the, the orange is green looking. And we'll have to kind of do these one at a time. Dark blue is actually light blue there. Let's double click on that. Let me go dark blue here. Pick a dark blue. Yeah, okay. And this green one it says is blue. I'm going to pick a lighter color blue. Double click. Custom. Background color. Note that my color choice is showing up where you cannot see it. But I'm going to make it just a regular blue. Okay. This orange is black, so 
I'm going to double click on that, say custom, change that to black. Okay, this dark green seems to be, it needs to be white. Double click, custom, background color, white. Let's go white. Okay, that's nice. This peachy looking color seems to, sh should be silver, right? So let's go here, say custom uh, color. Let's see if I can get one that's almost silver. Mm. That's going to have to be close enough. This orangey looking color should be green. Double click, custom, automatic. No, we want to make it green. I just picked a greeny color. And then I still have this aqua looking thing that should be orange. Double click, custom, orange. Let's make it orange. Okay. Now, now the colors match. And people often, I see the mistake so many times that people will say, well, the most frequently occurring color is orange or it is purple. And it's just that Minitab doesn't know to associate the proper color with the word. Now we're ready to just copy and paste this thing. You know, you've got a space in your lab where you copy and paste it into your lab. You just go up in here, any place in the graph, right click and say, well, I want to copy this graph. And then I go to my lab. And I just paste it into my lab, into that box, and you can stretch it or whatever to make it fit nicely. But that's how easy it is. Really easy to do this. And please note that I do not, ma I don't, I do not mind making mistakes and showing you that I make mistakes just simply to let you know that, hey, you're going to make some mistakes and you're going to figure out some things.